Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. For those of you who are new to my channel, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, the fabric sculptures and cloth dolls you see sitting behind me. I created these dolls myself and as I was sewing them child, they would not stop talking to me and this inspired my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series. And so far I have book one, two, and three. The Jungle Beauty Goddess book series is a sizzling, hot, spicy, juicy story about human evolution and the current condition of humanity. It is for adults only. My Jungle Beauty Goddess book series inspired my Jungle Beauty Goddess Oracle deck, which is based off of the personalities and characteristics of my Jungle Beauty Goddess fabric sculptures. If you are interested in making a cloth doll child, I have a plethora of free tutorials on doll making on my channel. All you need to do is click the button here. If you enjoy information about chakras, gemstones, oils, um, metaphysical knowledge, ancient wisdom, magic, welcome home darling. This is the channel where we embrace the weird and the wonderful. Thank you so much for watching. So this is one of those videos that you don't even know if you're going to post it. You know what I mean? And then you go back and you decide. So that's where my head is. Um, this is so late, but I can only make this video now. So when I heard about Kobe Bryant's death, man, I couldn't sleep for like a whole week. I was completely devastated. You would have thought we were best friends, right? Um, but you know, this is going to sound weird. And I, I know some people, you know, I hope people aren't offended. I'm going to ask you just to, you just to open your minds up a little bit. This is a different opinion than anything that's been out there. And every time I would listen to somebody, I would want them to say this because, you know, I didn't want to say it. But I feel like... That's why we all have a different voice and we all have different opinions about, you know, why things happen. So when I heard that um, LeBron James had surpassed his score, his, I think it was like his top score in a game um, the night before um, his death, I felt that it was, what had happened was a honorable, I know it sounds weird, okay, an honorable completion of a contract, of a life contract, of a mission. So, I know when I say things like this, people think I'm weird, so I really try to keep this crazy stuff to myself. But I think that when each one of us incarnated into this lifetime, we were given a mission, right? And I know that as humans, we gauge value with time, like, you know, he was still young. I know his daughter was like super young. You know, all the other people, the lives that were on that helicopter. Um, but I think that when we sign up for a lifetime, I feel like our our council, our, the light beings and God, they come to us and say, look, I got a mission for you. Just like, you know, I have an assignment for you, right? And when we are in our light being form, we are in our soul form, we think, you know, this is going to be an easy assignment. You know, his wife was there, his children were there, and they say that, you know, from all the metaphysical type books that I read, and I read a ton of them, they all say that we selected our earth suit, and we selected when we were going to leave the planet, how we were going to leave the planet, and everybody in our life agreed to it. Like everybody, but we kind of like forget about it. We jump into the lifetime because in order for us to learn the life experiences, we have to forget about what we agreed to. Uh, does that make sense to everybody? So um, I know that, and the reason I say this was like a completion of a lifetime contract is because of the way, you know, LeBron surpassed his score. And I think that LeBron, I mean, he is, it's kind of like he passed the torch. And he said, okay, man, when I win that night, it's going to go down, okay? But of course, they forgot that they agreed to this, and all the people who say, you know, and so for for Kobe, 
you know, he says he wants to be the greatest. And, and this is the thing I was telling uh, my students is that when you say you want to be the greatest, do you know what you've just done? If you say you want to be the greatest at anything, you just signed up for some mess, okay? And I want to say mess. That's a bad word. I should be more articulate. But what I'm saying is, if you say, I want to be a really great, great mother, and God is going to say to you, oh my God, I got two kids that need brain cancer, and they're going to die when they're three, and they're going to need somebody here, you know, but that's what that word means. If you want to be a Harry Tubman, you, you know, there have to be some conditions to create that type of memory. If you want to always be remembered, there are going to be things that's going to happen to create the um, story that's going to mesmerize people and make people stay up at night and make people talk about you to make people not forget your name. Do you, does that make sense? So when I think about uh, Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gigi and what happened and you know just oh god I hate even thinking about it. I think about so many people who have been given their mission and they did not complete it. They did not follow through and sometimes I know this sounds weird, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like a lot of times in life, um, I ask things like, you know, would this have happened to royalty? Would this have happened to anybody, you know, like, um, you know, Queen Elizabeth? I don't want to put anything negative. But what I'm saying is probably not because he would have just been a basketball player who died if it didn't happen the way it happened, but he wants to be remembered. And I feel like he signed up for a really tough mission, and um, and it made us all, it took us all back. And I feel like, to me, I feel like what Kobe Bryant would want for people is to look at their lives and ask themselves, are you living your life fully and completely? Are you following your dreams? Are you doing your best? Are you getting up every day and doing what you're supposed to be doing? And I think that's what his life and all the people who chose to go on this mission with him, that was the purpose to wake us up and shake us up to look at our lives and see if we are truly being true to ourselves, if we are following our dreams. Um, I think, you know, unfortunately, the way it happened, like I said, if it happened, you know, I remember. I was thinking like God how like if you if God if the same thing had happened let's just say Kobe had died and he was going 150 in a Lamborghini with two strippers and drunk I could it would have been cool I don't want to say cool but it would have been like more like oh okay that's unfortunate you know what I'm saying but no when the universe wants us to pay attention and to learn lessons like oh no he was taking his daughter to a basketball game where he was a coach a school that he had created for girls you know what I'm saying I feel like Kobe's legacy is for us to live our highest and best life for us to to follow through on our mission to do our dream to follow through on our dream so for anybody who's watching this I, please I, I don't think anybody's this young girl's life should be cut short but I don't think that when God created our lives that it has a time, a time stamp that determines the value and what contribution we're going to make to humanity. So I feel like for anybody who watches this, um, I hope that the lesson you can take is, um, you know, not, oh my God, how could she say that, but more of like, I started thinking like, am I doing my best? Is there a dream that you have that you haven't followed through on? Did you apply to college? Did you um, make the cookies that you were going to make? Did you start the business? Have you been a person who follows through on what you came to this planet to accomplish? So um, that is my take on why it happened. It was a wake-up call for us to follow through on our dream of dreams. Thank you so much for watching.